Welcome to Summer School with Mrs. Hasty. Nutrition, exercise, water, sunlight, temperance, clean air, rest, and trust all make a healthier you. Will you be a friend of mine, a friend of mine, a friend of mine? Will you be a friend of mine and play a game with me? Yes, I'll be a friend of yours, a friend of yours, a friend of yours. Yes, I'll be a friend of yours and play a game with you. Did you know that good friends are good for your health? Good friends can help you celebrate the good times and support you during the bad times. Good friends can keep us from being lonely and make us happier. Good friends can improve our self-worth. Did you know that people with good friends live longer? Sometimes our best friends are our family. Are there two or three or four in a family? Five or six or more in a family? You're in a family, I'm in a family. Families all are different. Families are large and families are small. Families are short and families are tall. Families are not the same as you recall. Families all are different. Did you know that kids who spend more time with their parents do better in school and are better behaved? They are. Families can support us and help us make better choices, like the choices we've been talking about during summer school. Families work together to eat better foods, to spend more time in the fresh air and the sunshine, and to get more exercise. Families can support each other to help make healthier choices. Sometimes we want to make healthier choices, but we just can't do it on our own. And some of us don't have the support of good friends and family to help us make those choices. I want to tell you about a friend who loves you and wants to help you make good, healthy choices. Jesus said in John 10.10, 10, I've come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. I believe and trust in my friend Jesus. He wants to help us make healthy choices. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Good friends, family, and trusting Jesus. These are all relationships that help make us healthier people. I know an animal that can teach us a lot about relationships and trust. Today I have a couple questions to ask you about your dog. So first question is what type of pet do you have? A dog. Yeah, what kind of dog is it? A whippet. A whippet. Now, I heard that whippets are pretty fast. Is that true? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, what's your pet's name? Tori. Tori. So, she's a girl. How long have you had Tori? Mm, since I was a baby? Yeah. Tori stays And how do you care for Tori? I give her food and water, and she has a place to sleep. Where does she sleep? In my room, in, in my bed, but sometimes she goes to her bed too. Mm, okay. Does Tori ever need any exercise or anything? Yeah, she has a leash. Mm, that's good. And can I tell you something funny about her? Sure. <laughs> when, when Daddy says 
He's going for a walk. It's like Tori knows what she's saying and runs downstairs begging to go with her. <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, what are some things that um, Tori likes to do? What's her favorite things to do? A squirrel! Yeah, she likes to chase squirrels, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> and play with her squeaky toy sometimes. Mm -hmm. And of course, wax. <laughs> And I think she likes cuddles, doesn't she? <laughs> so how does Tori show you that she trusts you? She comes when you call and she likes to sit next to you every day, right? Mm -hmm. I think those are good loyal dogs traits. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Well, anything else you want to tell me about your dog, Tori? One time the cat was under the coffee table and he jumped out and Tori was like, ah, run away, run away. Because <laughs> she's scared of the kitty. Yeah, she is scared of the cat. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for telling me about your dog, Tori. Say bye-bye, Tori. <laughs> <laughs>
not very strong. But when we pack in with friends and family and our faith, we are a lot stronger. We're healthier people when we have other people we trust around us. In 2012, Dan Bootner traveled around the world to answer a question. Why is it that people in certain parts of the world live so much longer than people in others? He traveled to Nicaragua, Greece, Japan, and many other places, and he found three places where people lived especially long, healthy lives. In Sardina, Italy, in Okinawa, Japan, and in Loma Linda, California, many people live to be a hundred and much less people suffer from disease. So what is it that makes the people in these three areas live longer? Well, they found that they're following the same principles that we've talked about in summer school. They're temperate, they don't smoke, they eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and whole grains, they get a good night's rest, they're physically active every day, and they spend time outside in the sunshine and the fresh air. They also do one other thing. They put relationships first with friends and with family and with their faith. 75-year-old Tonino milked the cows, split wood, and walked four miles with his sheep before coming in to sit down to eat breakfast with his wife, children, grandchildren, and a few friends. Ushi, at 103 years old, just got a new job, but that won't interfere with her eating lunch with her family, having tea with her friends, and having another social hour at sunset. Marge, at 101 years old, just renewed her driver's license. She drives to multiple volunteer places to visit her family and friends and to church each week. Dan wrote about these people and places in the National Geographic article titled The Secrets of Long Life. Relationships was one of those secrets. He found that people not only live longer but live more healthy years of life when they make family, friends, and faith a priority. Do you want to live to a hundred? Well start by spending time with someone that you love. Are you ready to do another craft? Yeah! <laughs> Good. What do we like to send to our friends and our family that live far away? Do we send them cards? Today, we're going to make a pop-up card to send to someone that we love. If you're going to make this craft with us, you'll need two pieces of paper, one thinner copy paper and one thicker cardstock paper, a pencil, some scissors, some glue, and some markers to decorate. We're going to start by folding the thinner paper in half. Now we need to decide what would we like our pop-up shape to be? Do you want to do a sun? Oh, that would be fun. So we are going to draw half a sun. Circle and suns have rays that stick out like this. What a nice sunshine. Now, we're going to cut out our sun along the edges, but we need to be very careful because we don't want to disconnect it from the paper. We want to keep it connected so it can pop out. Now I'm in the center again, so I'm going to cut another line. You can see when I open it up that it's still connected on these two sides. Now let's erase this pencil that I made. 
so you can't see it through. Now we're going to fold our cutout, our sun, the opposite direction from the way we're folding our page. Our page folds back, but our cutout folds forward. Okay, now we're ready for the other paper. I'll make a star on here. <laughs> we're going to put the sun on this one. We're going to fold it in half. Very good. Now we need to glue this paper inside. Are you ready to help with some gluing? Yeah. Don't put any glue on the sun, just on the paper around the sun. going to put the paper right in the middle of our cardstock paper. Help me smooth it down. Now we've got it folded correctly so you can see that when we open our card, it pops out! The sun pops out! Now we just need to decorate it. Are you ready to decorate? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I want a color. Oh, yes. Did you make a face on it? I did make a face on it. <laughs> Who could we send a card to? You could send it to cousins and aunts and uncles, grandmas and grandpas, right? Um, and friends. Do you have friends? I'll give it to Jonathan. So many friends that we could send our cards to, huh? Okay, I'm going to write on the front. When you're done, can I write? Are you going to make flowers on the front? No. That's a nice flower. Beautiful flowers. Look. <laughs> yes. Heart. <laughs> Did you make a heart? Well, how beautiful. Heart. Another heart. Great job. Okay. All done. A card to brighten your day. A pop-up card that we can send to someone that we care about. Thanks for joining me for summer school today. And don't forget to come back again for more learning fun. Let's have fun learning how to be a healthier you.